I was born long after the Great War. The conflict that the old ones called World War III. And those like me that came after called the Third Human Civil War. It was the war that turned the skies yellow, the oceans into acid, and robbed the earth of life. Not just billions of human lives, but most of its biodiversity perished. The great green that once coated the planet with life was only alive in the old movies and pictures. The world we inherited was almost indistinguishable from the moon. But unlike the old ones, who were crippled with survival's guilt, we were determined to rebuild this world. That looks like a good spot, I said while pointing to a large swath of clear land below that cut right through the city ruins. Ranger Santos, who was operating the command computer, nodded in agreement and punched in the coordinates on the computer. Land seems suitable for LZ. Air, radiation, water is within an acceptable range. There is plenty of grass and advanced plant life has taken hold, he said matter-of-factly. Has the area been cleared of unexplored ordnance, landmines, and booby traps? I said trying hard to contain my excitement. The army cleared the sector a few days ago. We're good to go, Ranger Santos said with a smile. This... This is where we begin again. Santos, call in the transports. I said, finally relieved that decades of hard work was finally bearing fruit. Millions of people spent every day and night in the desolate red zones trying to terraform the earth. We did this by replanting trees, filtering the water, scrubbing the air, clearing the bodies, and using genetics to revive dead species. Now there were finally places that could sustain life again. There they are, Santos said, pointing to a lumbering transport aircraft that hovered silently above the dead city and towards them. It stopped over the clearing and cautiously landed. Its aft door swung open, but nothing came out. I don't see anything, Santos said, sounding worried. I see one, I almost yelled. A lone copper-colored creature with a long black mane and four whose legs slowly stepped out of the aircraft. Its first step was timid, as if it had never encountered the open world before. It didn't take long for it to find its courage and begin trotting around in happy circles. Dozens of other creatures just like it soon followed the copper-colored one outside, and they ran together in a big herd. I didn't say anything for a while. I was fixated on these majestic creatures that the old ones called horses. I turned to speak to Santos, but he silently sobbing into his hands. I couldn't help but get overwhelmed by the moment also. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive our old ones for killing you in their war. We will make it right. This world is yours again. <laughs>